Heroes' Graves are larger, more complex dungeons available to be explored in the lands between. They tend to offer more loot and the loot available tends to be better. These dungeons notoriously feature the chariots. These chariots usually cause players lots of grief, but in most cases they can actually be destroyed or disabled in some fashion or form. Let's loot a hero's grave. The location of the Gelmir hero's grave can be seen on the map. Enter the hero's grave and immediately take the elevator down and you will find the grace by the same name as the dungeon itself. This hero's grave, like the others, contains within it chariots. The caveat being that, unlike the chariots found in other hero's graves, the ones in here cannot be destroyed by any means. After taking the grace, begin by running through the short hallway ahead, immediately encountering the first chariot. Proceed down the ramp, taking shelter to the sides when needed, being wary of the skeletons that lurk around the corners. If you're quick, you can follow the path as shown. Proceed all the way down to the end of the ramp, disregarding the large room on the left for right now. Once you reach the bottom of the ramp, begin rolling through the lava. Utilizing Bloodhound Step will make this process slightly quicker and less painless. The lava doesn't deal that much damage, so as long as you have a bit of vig or a few extra flasks, you should be more than fine. Path to the left as you approach the back wall. You will find a chest at the end of the corridor that will contain the ringed finger weapon. Once you have obtained the item, you can then head back out the way you came, this time rolling through the lava straight ahead. This will lead to a small drop down, a shortcut allowing you to skip the most cumbersome parts of the dungeon. Wait on the platform for the chariot to roll down. Once it arrives, get a small running start and jump onto the platform in the middle allowing you to ride back up the lava ramp. Once you reach the top, let the chariot turn around before hopping off. Directly in front of you will be a nightshade. Defeating it for the first time will drop the mantis blade weapon. From this cubby, turn around and proceed to the left being careful not to be run over by either of the two chariots. You will then be able to drop down onto a small ledge. Follow the path around until you come to a larger room containing a Bloodhound Knight. Upon defeat of the knight, he will drop the full Bloodhound Knight armor set. Directly in front of him, you will also find the full Gelmir Knight's armor set. From here, turn around and climb up the ladder. Cautiously proceed onto the beams and wait for the chariot. Once the chariot arrives, jump on and ride it all the way back down the lava ramp. Hop off, climb the ladder, and open the door. You can now fight the Red Wolf of the Champion dungeon boss. For defeating it, you will be rewarded with Bloodhound Knight Flow Spirit Ashes. You can also find a death route for Garonk's quest in the chest at the front of the arena. Teleport back to the entrance of the dungeon. Having returned to the entrance, you can now return to that big room that was left unexplored. The only valuable loot besides some grave glove wards is going to be a stone sword key. The room is located near the bottom of the first chariot ramp off to the left. Clear out the enemies in the open area and proceed up the stairs, being cautious of the pillars shooting flames. Time it correctly and then jump, roll, or attack it to get it to retract into the ground. From there you can exit to the right and proceed to the dead end to find the stone sword key awaiting you for your efforts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you need help with any quests, make sure to check out my quest playlist. New videos coming every week. As always, have a great one, and I'll see you next time.